Let's go exploring with Daniel Cook, right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are! This is Daniel Cook at the market. Hi, I'm here with Shemez, and, he, and today he's going to take me around the market. Hi, Shemez. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. This is Daniel Cook at the art store. What's your name? Daniel. Well, thanks for visiting. This is my place. Come on in, have a look. What we do is we take different pieces of furniture and using our creativity and imagination, we change them up a bit. How do you feel about this painting? It looks kind of crazy. There's a whole bunch of things in it and you can't really, can't really make out of, of what it is. Yeah, so you're pretty much meant to see whatever you see. And it's a bit of an abstract painting. You can see some things you recognize. Come take a look at this piece over here. This used to be an old wardrobe that we found. It's falling apart. And we came up with this idea to make an archway with a few hummingbirds flying in the window. The fun thing about it is the idea continues on into the inside, too. Yeah. Cool, eh? There's a lot of neat things in here. Our work is really all about just... Imagination? Yeah, imagination. Come up with one idea and from there it grows. And sometimes you just never know where it takes you, but yeah, the so result... Sometimes you don't even want to think this, but you, but you sometimes just think up... But your mind sometimes thinks up things, and then and then you think, hmm, I didn't, I wasn't really thinking that, but that's a pretty good idea. Some of my best ideas come around that way. It's a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, I bet it is. Yeah. This is Daniel Cook at the fish store. Oh, look at that one. Oh yeah, that guy's gross. <laughs> that guy too. There's big ones and yeah. small ones and yeah. long ones. They have big eyes. That guy has a big eye. He's got a big eye. Yeah. Okay. Right, so these guys get really fresh fish and they they put them here, they prepare them, they they, they fillet them, they take the scales off of them. Once I was at Fern Resort, there's this, it's a vacation place, and, and you can fish, and I almost caught a catfish. Wow. Yeah, I, I got him out of the water. You did? Wow. Yeah, I needed real help, but he got away. He broke, he broke the line. What did you think of the fish store? It smelled funny. <laughs> it smells funny, huh? Yeah. This is the cheese store we're going to. Cheese magic. Are you ready? Cheese magic. Cheese magic. This is Daniel Cook at the cheese store. This is James. Hi, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Maybe, uh, maybe if you're in the mood and you ask nicely, we'll get, uh, he'll get to give you some pieces of cheese to try out. Do you want to do that? Yeah. I'm used to eating yellow and white cheese. Yellow and white cheese, right? Oh this boy. Is, uh, blue Costello. It's hard to get it off. It tastes good. You like it? It kind of tastes like cheddar. Like cheddar? <laughs> yeah. These are like a lot of old clothes that people don't wear anymore, and instead of throwing them out, they end up here, and people end up using them again. And it's What's your favorite place in the market? 
Oh, that's pretty hard to decide, huh? Let's see. Um, there's lots of places for food. Mm. Yeah, that's some really neat stuff. It's fun just to walk around, huh? Did you think it was going to be like just a big place with all the shops looking the same? Um, well, not the shops looking the same. Just, just a whole bunch of shops, shops in a whole big giant store. Yeah. But it's like lots of little ma and pa stores. Like everyone's yeah. got their own idea whole, of something yeah, different. Yeah, the whole street is the whole street is the store. Oh, look at this one here. This is taking me around the market today. Daniel, it was my pleasure. You can come visit me anytime. This episode is over. But the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there. <laughs>